Hello everybody, welcome back to Band Trading Cards and today I will teach you how to install the Steam and the Tabletop Simulator so that you can play the Polywalk TCG. So I gotta show you here the first uh, thing that we need to do is uh, install the Steam. So by the way, Steam is the main platform for all other games and then one of the games is the Tabletop Simulator. So we do the first platform first and later we'll be uh, installing the tabletop simulator so first is the the steam so just click on any um i use chrome guys but um i haven't used other um browser for this but uh, you can use you might experiment but um i'll just use the google uh, chrome for now all right so in the browser of google chrome you can just type in um steam download Okay, once you click on it, then there is like, um, there's a welcome to Steam right here or this, this is, this is an ad for Steam. So just click on the welcome to Steam right here. Once you're here, see that Steam store community about support. The main thing that we need is this one, this green button. So install Steam. Once you click on it, it will go to this page and just click on install Steam. All right. Once you click on it, since I already in, uh, installed it, so it's already in my system. So you just click on it and follow all procedures on how to install it. Put it in your hard drive, and then once you you've done that, you can see the Steam right here, um, right here. See that, guys? So you can see my mouse. Yeah, this is the Steam. Okay. So that's the first one that we are uh, going to do. So next is once you have the Steam, just click on it, double click, and um, you will go to this this page. All right, there will be store, library, community. Uh, this is my username. Then um, if you haven't had uh, the tabletop simulator yet, just um, search it here. So just type tabletop simulator. Okay. Oh. Sorry, put a space on it, tabletop simulator, and enter. Then it will display right here. Okay, and if you haven't, because the, if it's your first time, so there would be um, like a price on how much is the tabletop simulator. It's around ten ninety nine that I get it from because it's um, until February three. Okay, so if you if you want to install that, so you have to pay, um, prepare your credit card, and, and then you will pay by uh, PayPal or by MasterCard or Visa. Okay. Now, once you had installed it, it will go to this here, or also you can, it will be installed on your desktop. Uh, yeah, just des desktop here. So it's. The, the icon is here then you can already click on it so click double click and it will start the uh, simulator by berserk games and uh, you can see here it's loading right there then um, it will have some um, information right there so this is the tabletop simulator so inside the tabletop simulator simulator there are polywog genesis um, World Breakers, um, whatever, oh, Flesh and Blood, I think there is uh, in here, but I haven't installed it yet. Um, yeah, so these are, these are the, the main, the main um, uh, tabletop simulator main, um, page. Okay, you can join right here or you can create a server. That means you can create a, um, a server for that game like Polywalk. Okay, so if someone, like for example, if you click on join, if you have a friend already that created a server, it will display right here and then click on that and you can connect. But if there's none, it's your first time to create it, then just close this one. You create this. Okay, let's start creating a server. Okay, so once you click on it, then it, you can have a choice uh, by single player, multiplayer, hot seat. So... This one is um, what I chose here. 
and then I put my name there you can change it by whatever your username is then server type is um, you can put it on public then public guys it will have it will ask you for a, um, a password okay and if it's friends like for example right here friends it doesn't uh, ask you a password but um, you can join uh, your friend can join you if you have the server then you can create like a maximum of 10 players or two okay I just put two because I will play two um, for polywalk so after that just create it so I created it then sometimes um, like for this example um, this one doesn't have a polywalk yet right so you have created a game but you wanted to have a polywalk game right so um, for me it's already installed but if not you can go to the workshop right here or if if it, uh, let me close this one guys if it's completely in here you can go to the games right here and then same thing workshop and if polywog is not here you can just browse browse it then it's already inside this one here okay now under the workshop then you can go to the um, right here search search right here and polywog okay so search polywog enter then polywog is there and it will have like a plus mark here like a subscribe button just click on it and it will be uh, included in your tabletop simulator so that's how easy it is okay so we get to close this to close this is just press escape there okay escape and then click on the polywog because it's there already right and then load all right so there you go there and um, Kevin had already uh, put everything in here there are different decks dr uh, grass deck water deck electric deck crystal deck and uh, this one is poison deck and shadow deck and there are um, in default there is a lily pad so to to view this one to zoom it out like you want it to zoom it because uh, you wanted to read what's in there so just hover your mouse right like that and then click uh, alt button okay alt button is um, beside the space button okay if you don't know so click an alt and then you can uh, zoom it out so you can read now battle uh, uh, battle pad lily pad all polywalk must be placed on a battle pad unless stated otherwise so it's just how it is guys then then you have a default number of cards right here so one two three four five six so that's the default number of cards uh, in hand then you can also this is how you move the cards okay so for for example this one just hover it click on it and hold click and hold all right and then once it's left already on the, the play mat then you can move it there you can move it there and then release click hold and release click hold and release click hold and release all right but if you want to rotate it or tap it okay there is a degree of turn right here now it's 90 then you can set it at 15 degrees uh, turn let's try 15 okay so that you will know what it looks like then just hover on the hover your mouse on the card and then click E E is counter uh, E is clockwise there 15 degrees 15 degrees 15 degrees 15 degrees okay and it takes a lot of time guys if you put 15 degrees to just to rotate it right um, if you if you want to rotate it backwards like counterclockwise just press Q okay Q Q Q Q there so if I wanted to have a very fast rotation like 90 degrees just change this to 90 and one click of the E like that it goes to 90 degrees then another E 
90 degrees. That's counter. Uh, that's clockwise. E, E, and then if you want to counterclockwise, Q, Q, Q. There. All right. Now, if you want to flip it to see the back of the card, then just hover it and then click F. There. All right. Now you can also lift it, click and hold, then move it there. And if you want to flip the card just while holding it, okay, while it's floating, okay, just press F there. F, 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 it, it flips. And you can also rotate it by E, 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 clockwise, and then Q, oh, sorry, Q, 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 there. And enter. Oh, there. Now, um, so we're gonna like for this example. I want it to face to the to the opponent. Then you can hover it and then E E there. All right. So that's how you move the cards. Okay. Now the dice. Dice is for example the six dice and oh, right, just do this first. Okay. So this one is just like the cards, but it's just a square, okay, uh, a cube. Now, if you want to have like one, just hover it and then press number one on the keyboard. There, one. Hover it, press two if you want two, and three, and four. One, two, three, four, five, six. There, that's good. And this one is, oh, we're going to do the groupings first so if you want to to group the cards like two okay let's put many cards right cards there if you want to group them just flip this one this card first this one here flip so that they will have the same uh, back, uh, backing a uh, back yeah facing then um, just uh, click and drag Okay, and it will highlight yellow, and then release. Okay, okay, again, click and drag. It will highlight a yellow. Okay, now once it's highlighted, just press G. There, it groups together. Okay, you can also do this, but it I found it difficult, guys, because once you click on it and then there's something shaking and it will have this problem. Okay, if I press G and then they group together. So G is a bit the, the simpler uh, process. All right, then if they are grouped together already, just if you want to get just one card, click and place there. Click and place. Oh, not too long. That's a problem. Don't put it long uh, for a longer uh, time. Okay, I'll group it again. So click there. Click release, click, click release, click release, uh, like that. Okay, then group. Okay, but if you want the whole deck to uh, to carry the whole deck, then you can uh, uh, click on it and hold. It should be floating, okay, on the table, uh, on the playmat. And then put it on top right there. And it will automate it automatically go into that card. Now, the, when the card, if I want to get one there, see that? Just click and drag here. Just one click and drag there, fast. But if you click it um, um, for a longer time, it will lift all the decks. Okay, just click, drag, click, drag, click, drag. Okay, like that. Now. If you are going to put, for example, from from your hand, just click and then release. Okay, click, release. You can also throw it there. <laughs> there. See, I'm throwing it. So click, release. Uh, click, hold, release. Click, hold, release. Something like that. So if you want to to group it together, so you can put it like that. Um, flip it, flip it. F, F, and then F, and then group it together, then G. There you go. And group, uh, select it and 
press and hold then put it down there you go um i think everything is there oh just one more if you have a card like this and it dies like it was uh it was attacked by your opponent and it died you have to put it in the discard card right you can put it like this so click hold and release there oh oh see it rotated and i have to rotate it e and put it there or you can put them in the forgotten zone e rotate it like that um e there e e put it like that okay now so we're gonna put uh click hold and release e flip and hold and drop like that okay so that's for the cards now we are going to do the dice groupings like this one right here so when you um same thing same thing as the cards so for the for the dice of this type that's a four this one is four then um if you want to toss it like you know um tossing the dice just um hover it and press r r r r r r r r r r r and then release r r r r r r r and release like that guys then if you want to group them together just um click and drag and it will highlight this too then r r r r there <laughs> really nice guys right there see just press r r r r r and then stop r then it will just drop so that's how you do it guys you can put many there you can put many like r r r r there <laughs> There, you can play with it, guys. All right. Now, you can put it aside. And then the same thing as this one. But this one here, um, I have to tell Kevin about this. Because I tried this a while ago. When I press, if I want 10, like 10, the value 10 is I press 1. 10. Then 2. Just hover the, car, uh, the, the mouse on it so that it will highlight. Once you hover it, it will highlight it. Then 30, 3, right? And then 40 is 4. But this one, 5 and 6 are was uh, um, interchange like that. Uh, just if you press 5, it goes to 60. If you press 6, it goes to 50. So um, there must be uh, just a little bit of adjustments there. So that will be fixed easily. All right. So same thing, just select. Okay, you can select one, you can select one, and then you can group together, drag, and and uh, release. Then R, 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 R. See that? Nice, right? So that's how it is, guys. And uh, this, is, this is used for the counter of uh, the life of a polywog. For example, I have to drag, for example, I drag, click, and drag. And then um, F to flip it. And Alt to see it, uh, that's 70, right? 70 HP. So if you want to put a counter that will be 60, for now it's 5 key, okay? But um, Kevin might uh, be changing that. So that's 60 plus, um, we need 10, right? Because uh, how much is this? 70. So we need 10. Um, 1. There, 10. So let me see if I can rotate it as well. No, it doesn't rotate, guys will just uh, change to a different when you once you click on the E it will go to a random uh, number okay so just uh, 10 just one there that's 10 oh sorry one uh, one there so that's 70 and then when it oh man sorry guys <laughs> uh, just put it there so if uh, uh, polywog attacks this one like it get, it has a damage of 60 so remove that and then the remaining is 10 okay that's the life count um hp counter okay so that's how it is guys i think i uh, i did it already then um just flip there and anyway if you forgot okay the rules so you can go to notebook 
<laughs> there click on notebook and all the rules are here see that there you go all right and then if you forgot the keys then you can go to um wait a minute escape then conf uh, okay sorry you have to escape that okay you go to a uh, press escape then configuration then controls there and you can see left is a right is d so this is uh i'm gonna show you in a while this is like uh, playing counter strike or whatever our role-playing game that you're doing uh this is what you do like forward back left right i'm gonna show you in a while but i just want you to to show you this flip the one that we we flip the cards so f right then tap is t then raise is this is for the dice that it goes turning upwards right it uh, for for tossing the dice then um, I haven't used the lock uh, I'm not sure if how to do it but anyway uh, we don't use that uh, for now then group this is the one that I highlighted all the cards and it groups together right then um, yeah rotate Q and then ro rotate right uh, rotate left is Q rotate right is E then zoom out is zoom out is this one okay i'm gonna show you how to navigate on this one okay so if it's too if it is too near you or far from you you have to use this wheel right here okay so look at that if i put up roll up it goes uh zoom in roll down it goes zoom out okay until it goes very small okay and then once i click on it guys once i i just click and hold okay click and hold and then i can move this around just holding it okay click hold and don't release you can move it somewhere okay and then you can also zoom in so just uh, roll the center roll it up and then you can press that and hold okay now on the keypad you can also do that okay just use w there for to move yourself forward and s move backward then a is left d is right there you go just like playing counter strike <laughs> counter strike or what is um uh call of duty <laughs> yeah like that see and then the zoom is um let me see if what's the zoom for um let me see um zoom out um there's no hmm magnify m i haven't used m let me see if i use m oh there you go so you can magnify it m just press m and hold and hover the the mouse to what wherever you want to see to zoom out and wow this is nice this is cool so you can just experiment guys just go to the configuration escape and configuration then just experiment whatever is in here like there's like a camera down oh there's a lot man and you can put your own keypad i guess yes by scripting something like that man there's a lot okay there's a controller here and by the way if um maybe you have um, an issue with your computer your computer graphics are so uh, a little bit low then you can go to the graphics right here and set it at low okay because i set it at low because i i was uh, trying to um, do it live but the problem is it's laggy on the recording i'm not sure why but uh, anyway we i i'll find a way but uh, for you if it's too laggy or something just uh, put it at low resolution or very low low resolution then you can set this one at a very small I'm not sure I haven't tried this one here there it oh there you go it becomes a different view there see that and the the graphics is not that uh, clear right but if you set it at 1920 by 1080p there it's so fine right so you can do that guys and then this one is uh, set it at low resolution and yeah 
So that's how you do it. And if sound, I think there's no music in here yet. And game, um, yeah. Um, I, I am not familiar with this, but we don't care about that yet. Because we all we need to do is um, play. So if you s want to start the game, but sorry guys, I mixed the, the battle pad. The battle pad should be, um, okay, let's borrow this one right here. So F, oh, sorry, F. Rotate is E there. Okay, battle pads is in here. Oh, let's remove that dice away. Battle pad is in here, and once you, if you want to draw, like um, um, number of cards. Okay, just hover on that deck, and press how many cards you want. Like six, just hover and then press number six. There you go. And you can have six already drawn. All right. Now, if you want to draw one, probably you can do it there. There, just one. Okay. You can just hover it and just one. Or you can click and uh, drag it to your hand. But I guess this is the, the easiest way. Uh, hover it and press one. There. <laughs> nice, right? Now. If you are going to put, uh, like for example, let's say stage one polywog, then click, drag, and put it release over here. There, because that's the polywog um, location. Okay. Then, if you want mutation, um, let me see if we have mutation alt, so that we can see now alt. So just over it. I'm pressing the alt, guys. I did not. Um, release it so I have no mutation let's say let's get uh, nine okay nine <laughs> there you go but it's not the, the correct uh, way guys but uh, I just want to get the mutation where's the mutation card OMG ah nine okay another nine <laughs> nine where is it I think I have a full card right now so oh there there you go Oh, there mutation. <laughs> this mutation, this should be go. This should go in here, this uh, area. All right, there. And you can click on the card; it will go on top of the card. Um, yeah, on all the cards. See, once I click this this one here, it will go on top of the pad. If I click on the pad, it will go on top and like that. And if you want to mutate, like this one right here, because that is. This is uh, Penimph, and I want to mutate it at Umbrox still. Then, yeah, Penimph, right? Um, am I right? <laughs> okay, so I want, for, just for example, guys, okay. So, yeah, I, I think I'm right. So, you can just click on that and pr put it there. There you go. And make this uh, on top. Click, and then click there. So that is your evolution already. And if they die, just um, select them and put them in the discard or press G. So they group together and just put them there. Discard pile. All right. See that, guys? That's um, very um, interesting, right? So if uh, I want to select them all here, just drag it, drag and release click here drag and release there and if you want to put them all <laughs> so it groups together automatically there you can uh, scatter them right and if you have a pad there so that's how you do it guys so I think um, I did <laughs> the basic ones um, and if you want if you already lose guys your your um, um, frustrated <laughs> because you're getting to lose just flip the here just click on the flip the table here boom <laughs> so uh, and then you uh, rage quit <laughs> so it's it's like uh, just for fun guys don't do that anyway so I think we're we're done here and um, if you want to go out of the tabletop simulator just press escape and go to main menu yes then main menu is here and then you can um, click on this power button right here 
and exit yes and we're done <laughs> okay and ready for the next day of a game okay so i might be doing um a game with uh, greg uh the mod of the moderator of uh, polywog um maybe the release of this video will be um monday then monday night probably um i'll just um go go to the discord of polywog guys i think we're gonna um there's like a channel there that is it says there that t a tts tabletop simulator and find that and uh, there's also like a find a match i think yeah a hashtag find a match there and if you want a match just click on it and type in who wants to play something like that okay so that's it guys all you have to do is you need around ten dollars and 99 cents yeah you need a credit card then you need to install the steam and you need to i think yeah steam is free okay but tabletop simulator is not so you have to pay 10.99 for ta tabletop simulator install that then once inside the tabletop simulator install um get the polywog on the workshop and uh and you can now play and go back to my video so that if you you know you forgot something just click on it okay and maybe i gotta put some um um how you call it uh table of contents something like that so so that it's easier for you to click on the video okay so that's it guys thank you so much and please subscribe like and comment down below if you have questions it really helps my youtube channel to go up on the algorithm okay thank you so much and see you in the next video bye